Ritual of some kind. We'll have to wait. We'll do no such thing. Dear sisters, pardon the interruption, but we've an important matter to discuss. Can you not see we're commemorating the dead? So... And we're looking for someone who's still alive. Please, this is urgent. <sighs> then speak. They say the Wild Hunt destroyed this village. That is true, though few believe us. You don't either, I'm sure. Did you see riders on skeletal horses, wearing frost-covered armor? Aye, that's how it was. They landed on our shores in a ship made of the claws of dead men, like in the ballads. Leif yelled to grab the children. Then they came, caught him across his face. He tried to whisper, only blood came out. You were to ask about someone, not prod their wounds. That's enough. What happened then? Yen, leave her alone. You don't understand. If we can learn where- I understand, and I'm still asking you to stop. You're right. Get to the point. Now. We're looking for a young woman, name of Ciri. Ashen hair, green eyes. I'm sorry. She is not here. Unless she lies in a grave. That is, I do not recall one by that name. But I've buried so many, I may have forgotten. This, this Ciri. Uh, has she a scar here on her cheek? Yes. Yes, what happened to her? I don't know. Saw her but for a moment, right before... Before it all, she was in the stables with Craven. A thousand curses upon him. Remember anything else? Anything at all? Only that she seemed tired. Very tired. And, and her hair was wet. Great. So we know she bathed. Progress. I'm sorry, Scar- Craven! My apologies. Craven. Craven could have told you more. This Craven you mention, does he have a name? He did. Until the elders struck him from the saga of ancestors. It's as if he has ceased to exist. The lore forbids anyone from touching him, speaking to him, even uttering his name. What did he do to deserve that? He fled from the wild hunt. He alone. We need to talk to him, even if it's not in keeping with your customs. You've come too late. He went to the garden to fight Morkvag. A coward who willingly seeks battle? Am I the only one who sees the contradiction? That's why he did it. Craven knew he would prove the Elders wrong only if he killed Morkvarg. And thus regain his honor and his name. Trial by ordeal. Very Skelligan. I do not mock your lores. Please also respect ours. This Morkvarg, half man, half wolf? Yes. Won't bother you anymore. Already killed it. I know. Craven went there before you, but has yet to return. Didn't see him in the garden. Doesn't bode well. Don't know if there's much point in going there. Even if he's dead, we could find some clues near his body. Let's hope. Thanks for your help. I understand you intend to enter the garden. I dislike it when foreigners enter the sacred grounds. But so be it. Custom demands pilgrims make an offering of their own blood before the tree. Craven surely did so. Unless he lacked not only courage, but respect for Freyr as well. You needn't worry about us. Geralt and I always give the gods the respect they are due. Uh-oh. You didn't mention your heroic battle with this Morkvarg character? You know me. Don't like to take my work home. Hmm. I'm afraid you don't like home. The very concept of it. I asked you once to move to Vengerberg for me. Remember? Was that ever a row? Yeah. Those were the days. Ivy-covered walls. A mysterious garden. Shame we're not here under different circumstances. Where shall we start? Let's go to the tree the sisters mentioned. 
plan to bleed yourself for the goddess? Not necessarily, but Craven did. We just might pick up his scent. Craven was here. Look, the impression. Kneeled down on one knee and cut himself to make the offering. Bloodstains, see them? No. I may be inhumanly beautiful, but I don't have superhuman senses. Not like you. Which is why you should stay up here. You can't help me track him, so I don't see any reason for you to go down there. You're right. Besides, trudging through mud in these hills would be murder. Thought you might object? Me? Please. I can be extraordinarily conciliatory. Yen, look me in the eye. What are you plotting? Many things. How to seize the Temerian crown, how to sell Kaer Morin out from under you. Go already! Light Prince. Craven trod carefully. Looks like Morkvar got bored of sneaking around and attacked. Craven was injured, started running. Prince lead to the well. Guess Craven didn't want to be eaten, preferred to drown. Roots, so I'd rather be in. Hey, can you hear me? Geralt! You scared me. Sorry, didn't mean to. I hope not. Let me know once you find Craven. Yen, found him. And? And I've seen rot fiends in better condition than this. Shit. Fine, scrape together what you can and haul the bits up here. Take it you've got a plan? No, I just like to stare at rotting flesh. We'll talk when you get here, all right? That's Yen, charming as ever. Come on, someone wants to meet you. Putrefaction set in, but the vocal cords are intact. We might still get something out of him. Doesn't look like the talkative type. Anyone can be made to talk, even a corpse. One must simply know how. Thought necromancy was strictly forbidden. So is premarital sex, but I'm not about to be bothered by such foolishness. Black magic's no joke. Casting those spells never ends well. Never. I don't like it any more than you do, believe me. But the thought that Siri is in danger? I like that even less. I understand. Still doesn't give us the right to- Geralt, please. This is not the time to debate ethics. Need any ingredients for the spell? Hmm. The blood of a newborn, a virgin's tongue, and the eye of a newt. Mind trying again without the sarcasm? I don't need a thing. I'm a sorceress, not a village herbalist. All I need is energy. A great deal of energy. We're very lucky this place is saturated with magic. It's also considered sacred. Priestesses will be furious if you use the garden's power to revive a corpse. Geralt, you're getting on my nerves. I offer you solutions, you try to poke holes in them. I'm not poking holes. Just thinking about the consequences. How about you? Given them any thought? No. Geralt, I'll say it again. We're short on time. Siri is short on time. Hmm. Fine. You busy yourself pouting. I'll handle the rest. Selene, Selene, Dufresne. Selene, Selene, Davidar. Oh! <laughs> 
Are you Craven of Lofferton? No, I... We're looking for Ciri. Ashen hair, green eyes. Have you seen her? She, she's wise. Curse me! I don't care about that. What happened to her? What was she doing here? Speak! No! Speak! Speak! Siri, Zirel, can you hear me? I can. I must leave you now. We will meet beneath drowned dead rock. Can you remember? Mm -hmm. Repeat it. Drowned dead rock. You're awake. And I thought you'd... Where, where am I? And who are you? It's all right. You're on Hindersfjall, village of Lofoten. They call me Skjall. But how'd I... What? We fished you out of the sea. Me and that friend of yours. How long did I lie there? All day, near about. T'was morn when we brought you in. Night's near come now. Damn. Too long. You needed the rest, desperately. Been through a lot, eh? Got some nasty, fresh-looking scars. Yes, I've been through a lot. I never thought women on the continent did any fighting. Sometimes they have no choice. And where is he, my friend? Stepped out a while ago. Said he needed to find a boat. Why does he wear that mask? Something not right with his mug? No. He simply doesn't like others to see it. Help... Help me stand. I... I don't... I don't think you should... Less talk, more giving me a hand. Ah, that's me brother for you. Out of sight for a second, and he's already put his paws on a girl. Astrid, you're as dim as dishwater. You know perfectly well I'm helping her up. It's a shame, I know, but I've got to interrupt your courtship. Come, we're off to the sauna. Where? Why is your mouth agape like you're noodling for an eel? The sauna. Girl, you was blue as a whale when we brought you in here. Your blood needs thawing. Really, there's no need. I feel fine now. Hey! Fine. You can't stand on your own two feet. And it's no surprise with your muscles frozen stiff. But don't you worry. Mom and I will take care of you. I'm sorry, but I must get to Drown Dead Rock as fast as possible. I shan't force you to stay. But the rocks are ways off and you can barely walk. You best take a horse. True. Skial can prepare a horse for you. You'll have to wait a spell, but even so, you'll get there faster than on foot. Fine, that'll do. 
Thank you both very much. Pish posh, there's no need. Now come, we gotta sweat the sick out of you. Where are my clothes? I've taken them already. Come on. That man in the mask, he's from afar, isn't he? Oh yes, from very far away. Where exactly? Aren't you nosy? Surprised? Been sitting in this fish puddle me whole life. I'd love to travel like you. Like me? No, you wouldn't like that. Trust me. All right, in you go and get out of those rags. All of them? I should think so. Storms are coming. Gotta go to your mom. Oh, you're here. The horses are ready. As am I. Shall we ride? Listen, I... I hope... My sister, she didn't talk any nonsense to you, did she? No. Uh, except to mention that you fancy me. Wh what But I asked her... Besides, it's not... Of course, you are very... But you know what? Let's ride. You're in a hurry and it'll be dark soon. I'm not in that much of a hurry. <clears throat> Your first kiss, wasn't it? Of course it weren't. Uh, aye, me first. We don't have much time. But it's enough for you to learn a few things. Run for your lives! You stay here! I'll go and- I can look after myself. What was that? The Wild Hunt. Ragnarok? The world's end? No, not yet. But I must go. They're here for me. Get on the horse. I'll show you the way to the rock. You should stay. See to Astrid, your mum. Afterwards. Once I'm sure you'll make it. Let's go! Watch out! Ride, silly! Don't look back! Catching up!
became of that creature? Where is he? Stop! <laughs> what? I saw him. I stole us, but, but he sold him. To whom? No, no. Be gone. It's just to tell them. I say. Yen, are you all right? I'm fine now. The spell. Imagine putting wriggling cockroaches in your mouth, or swimming in manure. That's more or less how it felt. What? What happened to the garden? It died. Like I said, the spell, it requires a great deal of energy. You knew it would end like this, didn't you? Didn't consider it worth mentioning? No. I knew you'd protest. Your sense of decency is charming, but it does get in the way sometimes. Could have shown some sympathy for the boy. He... That was no boy, Geralt. It was a hunk of rotting, rancid flesh that spoke through my magic. Didn't just speak. It howled in pain. I know it seemed real, but it was no longer human. Do you understand? Geralt, I know we should talk, but not here, all right? I don't wish to stay a moment longer. The garden! Our garden! How could you? We helped! And you! Inconceivable! Now, now! Don't you dare try to calm me! We've every right to be furious! Furious! And you! You will pay for this! I'm sorry. Is that all? Will you say nothing else? Nothing that would help. I shall make sure all Skellige hears what you did here. Wait. I did this. I alone. Geralt tried to stop me. I refused to listen. I might have known. They warned me about you. Sorceresses. None shall open their door to you. None shall feed your hunger, and none shall tend to your wounds. Yen, you didn't have to do that. But I wanted to. I'd rather not talk about it. We must focus on what Skal told us. The key to finding Ciri is that ugly thing Skell saw on the beach. That's what I think. You know, I saw something, or someone who looked just like that. Where? In Velen, at a castle until recently ruled by a self-proclaimed baron, now controlled by his right-hand man, Sergeant Ardle. You must go and get the creature. I don't know, buy him, kidnap him. The thing's clearly cursed. Its mind is a jumble. Can't have anything resembling a normal conversation with it. Grumbling won't get us anywhere. All will be well. A curse, please. Nothing a sorceress and a witcher couldn't handle. Now, tell me, do you... No, never mind. You were gonna ask me something. What was it? Tell me, do you think... Is there a chance that thing might be Siri? That, well, 
she's been transformed by some curse. Don't even want to think about it. Geralt, we must. Might be. From what I know, she was looking to cure a powerful curse while in Novigrad. But I'll lose it if I try to deal with that possibility now. We have to do what we can, see what happens. Didn't learn much, though... Though we can be sure Ciri's not in Skellige anymore. Not in Velen or Novigrad either. She's disappeared. Again. Perhaps we should re-examine what we've learned. We might have missed a clue that would push us forward. Certainly hope that's the case. <sighs> Makes me wonder what she's gotten herself into. Can't even begin to imagine. But we will pull her out of it. Safe and sound. That I promise you. Ciri's trail in Skellige. We followed it, exhausted the possibilities. Might be time to go back to the continent. Before you do, there's one thing. It's important. What's that? Let's meet in Larvik, at the Warrior's Hall. We'll speak there. Fine. Larvik. See you there soon. Thank you. For that, and for your help in the garden. I'd not have managed without you. It was nothing. Geralt, you know me. I'm rare to praise, but when I do, it is sincere. <laughs>